Good morning. I'm trying this again. I have no idea why there are things coming up at the bottom about filling out the connection card, but <laughs> so I hope that I'm doing this in the right place. Um, yeah, weird. But anyway, hopefully this works. And if you come on this morning, uh, I just want to say welcome and feel free to let me know. Um, yeah, I feel like we're all having a little bit of issues with this, so I hope that this works okay. Anyway, um, I am, my name is Courtney, and I get to do this um, every other Wednesday, and so I'm uh, looking forward to spending this time with you this morning, um, and hopefully it will all work out okay. Um, and I wanted to start by having us take a, a little deep breath as we maybe wait for people to come on. And um, and if you're watching this later, it's a good time to do that as well. So sometimes it's a good way to collect yourself. And so let's just do that together. Let's just take a moment to take a deep breath and just invite God's presence to be here with us. God, we thank you for this time. We invite your Holy Spirit to be here with us. God, we know that you see us wherever we're at right now. And so, God, we just invite your presence and we ask that you would touch our hearts, that you would speak clearly to us. Um, and yeah, we just give this time to you, God. We just thank you that we can take a little bit of time out to listen to your voice. Amen. So, uh, good morning again. And so I, like I said, I like to kind of start with taking a deep breath sometimes because I need that in the mornings. Um, but this morning I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, the idea of examining our hearts. And so this is something that I feel like God has been putting on my own heart and has been directing me in, um, in a way that's been really helpful for me and, um, has been, um, an opportunity to um, hear from God in a way that sometimes I don't give myself the opportunity to. And so I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you and encourage you to um, do that as well. Good morning to those who are joining. Um, I was saying I wasn't sure if this was working. I started it once and then started it over. And so let's hope that this is working the way that it's supposed to for right now. So this morning we're talking about examining our hearts. And, um, you know, one of the things that we talk about often, or you might hear often is the verse that says, good morning, Tony, um, is that verse that says, uh, be still and know that I am God. And that's from Psalm 46. And I think that there's something very powerful about that idea of being still and in the presence of God so that we might actually know God more as well. And so I want to invite us into that this morning. Um, we're going to just take a little bit of time after I talk for just a little bit to, to be still in the presence of God. Um, because I think sometimes when we uh, we enter into a time with God, sometimes we feel like we need to be praying or we need to be doing something or uh, reading our Bible or um, asking God for things. And but there is something very valuable in sitting in silence and asking that God would just um, speak to us in a way um, that we might not be able to hear when we're always the ones that are talking. And so um, I feel a little bit scattered this morning, but I'm going to try to share a little bit of what um, I mean when I say that. Um, there has been, uh, I keep being led to Psalm 139. Um, and what I really love about this, well, I love the whole, uh, the whole Psalm, so I'd encourage you to read it if you can. But at the very end of Psalm 139, in verse 23, it says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. And... I think within this, this 
is this idea that we are actually asking God to examine our hearts. We are actually putting ourselves before God and saying, I want you to, knowing that God already knows us, you know, the beginning of Psalm 139 says, Oh Lord, you have examined my heart and you know everything about me. But then at the end, it's saying, search me and know me. So it's actually our part in saying, God, I want you to examine my heart. I want to be fully open before you. And even though I know, God, that you know my thoughts in my heart, I want you to reveal what you see um, to me as well. And so um, there is uh, in Isaiah 40, no, Isaiah 30, verse 15, it says, this is what the sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel says, he says, only in returning to me and resting in me will you be saved. In quietness and confidence is your strength. And so that idea of being still and quiet before God and asking God to examine our hearts is um, in quietness, it says, and in confidence. We can be strengthened knowing that God will lead us in the way that we need to go. And when we start examining our hearts, we are able to ask the questions, who am I relying on? How do I feel right now? What are the things that God maybe is wanting me to give or surrender to God so that I might be better able to walk the path that God has for me um, in this day? And so this is something that we can do every day is asking God, okay, I'm going to sit in quiet and I want you to reveal to me the things of my heart because maybe my heart is... Um, putting more emphasis or energy into things that are not of God, that are things that actually might take my attention away from God, or um, that might be distracting me from hearing what God wants to say. And so um, this need to be still and quiet, I think, is really important so that we might actually be able to let God reveal those things to us. Um, and there's a sense of stillness. In that stillness, there's a sense of surrender. Because what we're really doing when we sit in stillness and in quiet and ask God to examine our hearts is we're surrendering ourselves to God and saying, God, I want you to show me how I can best walk out this day with you. I want you to show me what things might be keeping me from walking in the ways that you have for me. And so, um, so what I want us to do for a moment here is to just take a few minutes, well, maybe not a few minutes, but a little bit of time to just sit and be silent and to ask God to examine our hearts. And one thing that, you know, we can be doing is just saying, what are, God, what are my motivations to the things that I'm doing today? What am I relying on? Where is my strength coming from? Um, I know sometimes when we are in places of fear or uncertainty or busyness, um, we can kind of go to other uh, places of comfort. We can turn our eyes from Jesus instead and instead put it on other things. Um, and so that can be um, something that God can re re reveal to us, that maybe we're finding comfort and strength in places other than God. Um, and so... Um, so I want us to do that, and let's see, um, there is another, let's see here, um, oh, so that's the other thing I want to share before we, before we go into that. Um, in Psalm 51, uh, verse 10, um, it says, create in me a clean heart, O God, renew a loyal spirit within me. And I think that is what we're doing. That's the motivation for us this morning when we're doing this is to ask God to create, to examine our hearts, to show us where it is that we need to surrender to God so that we might be able to walk more in God's ways. And then we're asking God then to, to cleanse us, to, to um, create in us a new heart that is ready to follow God again, that is ready to hear the voice of God instead of maybe our own voice or the voices around us. So, so as we sit here for just a minute, I just want to invite the Holy Spirit to reveal to our hearts, um, to examine our hearts and to um, show us where maybe we are depending on things other than God um, to get us through the day today. Um, and as God maybe reveals some of those things to you um, uh, on your own, then I want to give us an opportunity to surrender those things to God and to invite God to renew our hearts today to um, follow in God's way.
So let's just take a moment to listen in silence. And it's okay if there are thoughts that kind of start coming in your head. It can be hard to sit for a minute, but let's just invite God to maybe um, speak to our hearts about um, where our attention and our focus is today. So God, I just invite you right now as we sit in a moment of stillness and quiet. Um, Lord, examine our hearts. Show us if there's any way in us that is um, not focused on you, that is not um, relying on you, God. Um, the places where we may feel like we are weak or fearful or struggling, God, um, because we want to be able to offer those to you um, and surrender those to you. So God, would you just speak to our hearts right now in these few moments, um, reveal to us maybe something that um, we can give to you today so that our focus can be more on you. Thank you, God. So I don't know if um, you had anything that might have come to your mind or that stood out to you during that time, maybe something that God just um, revealed to you um, about where you're, where, what you're re maybe relying on today or maybe what your motivations are. Um, but I know for me, um, I can be motivated by uh, my anxiousness sometimes <laughs> um, and my trying to fix things or trying to to do the right thing and so um, so that's something that came to my mind that I want to surrender to God today in trust to trust that God will um, show me the way that I don't need to be anxious about it um, that God can give me peace and so if there's something that maybe came to your mind you can feel free to share it in the comments if you want if you don't have to um, and I just want to give us a moment here to just surrender that to God because God is full of grace and mercy and God wants to renew us and God wants to um, give us I think in Psalm 51 it says um, so before it says create me a clean heart it says in verse uh, 8 oh give me back my joy again um, and I think that that is something that you know it says have mercy on me oh God because of your unfailing love because of your great compassion and so God wants to pour that out on us this morning so so whatever that is that might have come to mind for you, um, let's just take a moment to offer that to God. Um, God, I thank you that as you, as we put ourselves before you and ask you to examine our hearts, God, that you are faithful in bringing to our attention the ways in which we might be relying on um, whether it be others or um, other comforts, other things than you, God. Um, and God, we just confess that to you, God. We confess that we are in need of you more than those things. And we know, God, that you are the one who strengthens us. You say that in quietness and in stillness and confidence, you will be our strength. And so as we surrender those things to you this morning or whenever we're watching this, God, would you fill us with your strength? Would you fill us with your peace and your uh your compassion and mercy, God, would you um, be near to us? And God, we just say that we want to follow the path that you have for us, God, today. Um, and so help us to turn our eyes towards you, uh, create in us clean hearts, God, um, so that we might be able to, to start anew and to continue to walk in your ways today. Thank you, God. Amen. So uh, that is all I have for us this morning. I just wanted to give us a chance. If that's something that was maybe helpful for you, I would encourage you to try to do this. Um, I know we don't always have time in the morning, but it's been really helpful for me to just spend a few moments in the morning asking God to examine my heart and to uh, renew and cleanse my heart so that I can be focused on God for the day ahead and um, be expecting that God will 
will lead me in the way that I need to go. And um, I would just encourage you to um, to read that Psalm 139 or um, even Psalm 51. Um, those are great places to be encouraged that even as we give ourselves to God, that God leads us um, in the way that we are to go and that God's pleased when we, when we put ourselves before God. Um, and so, um, yeah, I think that's all I have. But I just want to say that I hope you have a blessed rest of your day and just encourage you that God is with you, that God knows you so intimately. So even though God knows our thoughts, um, God really loves when we come to him and say, okay, God, show me the way that you want me to go today and reveal to me the ways that maybe my motivations are not your motivations or um, that my thoughts are not your thoughts. Um, so, so be blessed this morning and uh, have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you all soon. So bye.